Oh, we are live! How are we, lads? Come on, the footy! The footy spot! What on earth did we just win? Easter Monday, and we had a tiger ambush. Jackson Hastings, holy fuck, he just had a performance like no other player did over the weekend. Jackson Hastings at halfback was unbelievable. To help me review the Eels and Tigers Easter Monday, absolute classic, unbelievable game. All our, um, um, all our chamber obviously isn't the game, and I'm going to try and speak to him at some point, but can't make any promises on that. Pro Enzo Vids, first things first, bro. How are you? What a game. I'm stoked. I'm, I'm actually shocked. I'm, yeah, fucking hell. I just can't believe that one, eh? Like, you, you would be very lucky to be tipping the Tigers tonight, but, you know, credit to them. They play well, and, um, yeah, fuck, I can't wait to review the game. That was madness, honestly. I can't believe what I watched. It was unbelievable. It was just crazy football for a team that was 0-5. Going into round six, looking for their first win of the season. They were so desperate, and they ended up getting the win. And Nathan is here as well. Nathan, Nathan. what did you make of the game, bro? That was fucking insane. My head is just exploding at the moment. It's incredible. Only one word, incredible. Axel Rose said it best. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Unreal. Unreal. Unbelievable scenes. Atmosphere looked outstanding down there at Combank this afternoon. Um, far out. I just want to give a mention to um, all out Champa. I know he was at the game this afternoon. I hope he had a fantastic time, man. That, there's nothing better than going to a game of football and your team winning by one, especially on the bell like that, with about five seconds yeah. to go. Jackson Hastings, 37 Who's metres that? out, field goal, bang. Tigers win by one. That was insane, boys. Yeah, it's the best feeling ever. I'll tell you that much. Been been there a couple of times, seeing that happen. Did anyone here tip the Tigers? Like, did anybody at all tip the West Tigers today? No. Gave no chance. Oh, mate! And the Tigers were paying ten dollars to win on sports bet. So if you jumped on them at ten dollars, congratulations! But wow, we yeah. in. Man, Jackson Hastings, what a what a redemption story it was, man. Honestly, we all know the story. He got punted by the Roosters. He got punted by the Seagulls. He went over to Salford, killed it at Salford. Went to Wigan, killed it there as well. Tigers were the only club that wanted him. Tigers ended up signing him. He came back. First game was pretty good. Second game was average. Got suspended for a dangerous tackle. Comes back today. Very hostile circumstances. Sold out Bankwest Stadium against Parramatta. Easter Monday. Couldn't get any better than that. And he wins the game. With about 10 seconds to go. Unbelievable. What a man. What a story, yeah, man. Jackson can't... Hastings. He is the story of the weekend by far. What a game. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the review. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you go ahead and like the live stream, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. We're getting close. I think we're about five subscribers away from 1,800 or something. And we're getting closer and closer to 2K. So subscribe if you're new around here as well. And go and check out the YouTube channel of Pro Enzo Vids. His uh, channel's in the link of the, of the description below. And Nathan's here as well to jump on, which is good to see. But, boys, <laughs> fuck. Let's get into it, eh? First try of the game in the 11th minute went to uh, Luciano Leilua. Hastings gave a nice pass to Brooks. Brooks went short to Luciano Leilua. And Leilua hit, hits, the, hits the ground. But momentum gets him to the try line. Lailua scores. Lorenzo, what a try for Luciano Lailua to start the game. I'll tell you what, bro. Like, what, what, what a hell of a run, was it? Like, he was 
far away from the try line when he first got the ball, but then just the effort to sort of run and still keep going to still score. That's uh, that's yeah, a great effort by Leilua, and I think Tigers will be seen next year when he goes to the Cowboys. And um, yeah, but no, look, that was a nice try. You know, it was just nice how sort of uh, how Brooks laid the ball to to him and to get over like that it was a good start by Tigers. Unbelievable stuff for the Tigers, Nathan. Mate, what did you make of the start for the Tigers? Like, we're going through that hole. I'll tell you what, if this is what we're going to expect next year, oh, it's going to be so good. But, man, that try, just the determination in that, to him to just fend off, like, one, two, three different players in that, incredible. Absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah. Oh, Great start for the Tigers. So cool. Great start. The Tigers go to a 6 0 lead early on, boys. And then um, in the 16th minute, Clint Gavelson scores for the Eels. A great try. Mitchell Moses runs on dummy half, puts a grubber kick in back towards the post. And King Guffo's out of score, Lorenzo. What a try from King Guffo. Yeah, well, Parra needed that because all the momentum is with um, West. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, that was a nice try, actually. I think Gufferson had a good game despite the loss. So yeah. Yeah. No, it was fantastic, wasn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Nathan, what did you make of that try? Moses to cover with the kick on the inside. Absolutely silk. Mo- yeah. uh, in my opinion, Moses has been the most informed halfback so far for 2022, and that, that just proved it right there. Just incredible. Yeah, Moses just delivering the goods there. And, mate, we leveled up at 6 all boys, and I thought to myself, bloody hell, if we keep getting this pace, we're going to – we're in for a cracking game. And – um. Mate, 23rd minute, David Nofaluma scores a try. Now, Luke Brooks throws a nice cutout ball to uh, Nofaluma. Nofaluma goes over in the corner. Good to see Luke Brooks at 5'8 today, boys. I think that that might be his game. His yeah. running game, and Hastings can be the game manager. What a try for Nofaluma in the corner. Yeah, um, you got it. Yeah, I think you're something that well there. I think Brooks is uh, a 5'8 going forward. I think that's his uh, best position, I think, because no pressure on him. I think Hastings, like we saw today, is a real organiser, and I think that benefits the club a bit more. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of that going forward. But, yeah, you know, good try by Nofaluma. Very good try. Nathan, what you make of that try? I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, great. Fantastic. And that, yeah. good ball, good play by Brooks. Yeah. <laughs> good play by Brooks and everything. Just Luke, Brooks, Luke Brooks, two tries. Yes, good stuff for Luke Brooks. Tigers, 10-6. Good stuff for the Tigers. And then um, in the 27th minute, boys, David Nofaluma scores his second try of the game. Jackson Hastings put a nice little kick over for Nofaluma. Nofaluma goes over and scores a try. What a bloody try. Hastings just setting it up, Lorenzo. Yeah, that kick, that, that, that kick was uh, just – you couldn't get any better than that, I think. I think the way he sort of just plants it in Nofaluma was just uh, brilliant. And, uh, yeah, I, I just I just knew after that try that Tigers were going to be competitive for the rest of the match. Brilliant. Tigers 14 6. Nathan, what would you make of that try from Hastings setting it up for beautiful. Paul Nofaluma? Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful I, I try. Love... Hastings, Hastings read that so well. It just reminded so me of, of those old Super League tries when he was, at, when he was playing with Salford. You know, he did his little chip kicks over to the corner. And oh, it's just so smart from Hastings to do that. And Tigers go to 14 6. Good stuff for the Tigers, boys. And um, in the 34th minute, Parramatta needed to do something. They needed to score next, and they did that through Isaiah Papaliti. Red Money hits Papaliti with a ball from dummy half, and Papaliti just goes over and scores. Isaiah Papaliti, right, right place, right time, and when he's that close to the try line, he's very hard to stop, Lorenzo. Yeah, yeah, that that was um, a great try. And I think you had him as a try scorer today, didn't you, bro? Yeah, I did, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were on the bets today, and uh, yeah, that was a great try. It was a good try. And uh, Nathan, Papa Lee, too close to the try line, mate. He can't be stopped. Oh, yeah. No question about it. I just want to bring up before, though, that look, that um, hit Luke Brooks did. Oh, before yeah. Papa Lee try. Wow. Oh. Mate, he's huge. Oh. You love to see it. You, you, love, you, love, you love to see halves putting big hits on fours. It's good to see. Something different. So good. Anyway, boys, we get to half time and the West Tigers lead the Eels 14 points to 10. And Lorenzo, mate, at half time, we were talking on our group chat on Instagram, the Coffee Lounge. Mate, I mm. thought Tigers were a good chance in this game, but we, we were all saying that the Parramatta were, were, were going to run away with this. But gee yeah. whiz, the Tigers, they just, they just would not give up, would they? Yeah, I think we're all pretty confident that Parramatta were just having a slow start and all come back and 
they were still in the game. But you know, I think we, I think from what we saw, that Tigers weren't going to give up. They weren't going to, you know, sort of fade away. And um, yeah, they, they didn't. And I think they uh, did really well to maintain the same momentum. So um, I think they deserve the credit they do deserve. Definitely, Nathan. Um, at half time, did you feel the Tigers were going to win this game, or were you thinking Parramatta would have would have come back and be too good? Judging, well, obviously judging by recent performances and that, I thought Parramatta would have just just turned another gear and just came in and just destroyed them. But no, no, it's they sort of yeah, so good. Yeah, unbelievable. And, boys, we'll get to the second half. And, um, mate, in the 45th minute, unbelievable, the Eagles had a scrum. The Tigers stole the ball in the scrum. Boys, what is this, 1986? We're going back to the 80s now, the old fashioned <laughs> pushing in the ruck and getting the ball back. Lorenzo, how good was that? Yeah, but, but that, that, that sort of shows at the same time the determination that the Tigers had today. You know, the effort was there. And that's, you know, they could, they could have easily just let it go and not really – attempt to push, but, you know, that just shows what the attitude was, so. Yeah. Nathan, mate, what did you think of that? That was incredible. Exactly what Lorenzo said, man. Just, it, it felt it felt like going back, watching 1985, felt like watching Parramatta and Balmain all over again. Yeah, it did, didn't and it? that, just <laughs> the determination of Wests and just, oh, they yeah. wanted it bad and they got it so yeah. good. And, boys, not long after that, in the 49th minute, uh, Ken Mamalo scores for, for the Tigers in the corner. Justin Hastings gives the ball to Dan Laurie. Laurie throws it to Mamalo. Mamalo goes over in the corner. What a try from Ken Mamalo. Yeah, it was a nice try, actually, that one. And uh, they just, like, somehow maintained, like, I, I don't know, like, they, they just kept them hanging in there, hanging after every time Parramatta gave, gave them a chance to score. And, yeah, they did really well there. That did well, uh, Nathan, mate. Mamalo in the corner. Yeah, man. Good try. Fantastic try. Yeah. And then Hastings and Nails, the goal from the sideline. Tigers go to 20 to 10. I'm thinking to myself, holy shit. Tigers could win this. They could win it. And then, boys, just just when Parramatta looked like they were gone, that they just find a way to stay in the game, aren't they? 52nd minute. Um, Dylan Brown with a nice left foot step. He goes through a gap. Inside ball to Reid Marnie, and Marnie goes in and scores. The next minute, it's 20 to 16. Tigers, Eels are coming back. Lorenzo, Reid Marnie, but, but on the back of Dylan Brown's running game. Yeah. How good's that? Yeah, i got to say, Dylan Brown's had a great start to the season uh, so far, and uh, I guess it just shows why. Like, you know, that line break and that try was just really good, and uh, yeah, help Parramatta. Yeah. Nathan, mate, Dylan Brown at the line, just so quick, isn't he? Man, Dylan Dylan Brown has been incredible. Dylan Brown, well, I mean, all game too. He's been really good, and that was yeah. fantastic. Good setup and Reid Barney. Oh. Parramatta are going to seriously miss him next year. Oh yeah, they're going to miss him a lot. They're going to really miss him. There's no doubt about it. Anyway, boys, mm. Tigers twenty to sixteen, and made the Eels. They needed something. They needed to pull a miracle out, and in the seventieth minute, boys, the Eels. They leveled the game up. Moses put up a kick. Dane Laurie knocked the ball on. And Morata oh, wow. Kore, right place, right time, scores in the corner. 20 all boys. Nia Kore's over. Yeah, that that um that try was uh, really good. Like, I think at first I was a bit afraid because we were talking about this as well, that the bunker could go, go upstairs and have yeah, a review. Yeah, I was worried. But, um, no, nah, look, it was always going to be a try. And uh, that was a great try by Nia Kore. Nathan, what were your thoughts on the Morata Nia Kore try? Right place, right time. Got really lucky and, um, yeah, fantastic. Great try. Yeah, and we'll level it up at 20. All boys and Moses misses the conversion, which would have put Parramatta in front. Gee whiz. That was a costly miss, a goal from, from uh, Moses. Massive miss. Needed to kick that. Yeah, yeah. Talk, kick talk about making a most opportunities far out. Yeah, you got to make your opportunities, mate. And, well, let, let's get to the chaos, boys. The last... Eight minutes of this game was just absolutely mental. 72nd minute, not Luma. I thought he scored a try, and he was held up by Hayes Perham. Lorenzo, Hayes Perham came off the bench because um, Obacek got injured. Hmm, yeah. Mate, Hayes Perham, dude, that was a big tackle, wasn't it, on, on not Luma? 
Yeah, because I'll tell you what, if Nothal Loomis scored, it would, been, it would have been over already before the last couple of seconds of the match. So yeah. that was a big play by Perham. It was. Nathan, mate. Hey, Perham. Great defence. Yeah. Solid. Absolutely solid defence. Try saver too. Try saving tackle. And then, boys, 73rd minute, Tigers on the attack. And I don't know what they were doing, bro. They ran the ball in the last tackle. Jock Madden throws the ball over the sideline. What was he thinking there? Go for a field goal. Yeah, you had the opportunity, you had the space, and but they don't know what they're doing. I was look, I'm not even a fan of Tigers, but I was feeling myself that they weren't even taking any opportunities. They got, they got it was stupid. Just a quick mention in the chat to all out Champa, who is now live in the chat. All out Champa is here. He says Tigers, <laughs> baby, and he's pumped up. Hey, um, all out Champa, <laughs> mate. If you could go on to the group chat, you you'll see the link. I want you to jump on here for a minute with us, mate. Try and jump on with us. Yeah, we yeah, want yeah. your opinion on the game, even even if it's just one minute. Just, Lorette, Champa, jump on, jump on with us for like a minute. Everyone wants to see Champa. The chat will be going mad for him. Anyway, we'll continue to, into the review, mate. Seventy fourth minute penalty to the Tigers. Now, I thought this was a big ball, boys. Tomo knocks the ball on. Makatoa held on to him. When I first watched it, I thought Tomo dropped it, but you can see Makatoa had his hands on the ball. Penalty Tigers and they kicked downfield. I thought that was a fair call. Lorenzo, what would you make of that? Yeah, I don't think I don't think I have any issues with it. I think that's a penalty any day of the week. Nathan, what do you reckon, brother? Fair call. I reckon it was a fair call. Yep. No, fair enough. And Tigers on the attack, boys. And in the 76th minute, seriously, I thought the Tigers stuffed up here. Jackson Hastings, Grubber kicked it for not for but the ball went dead. <laughs> Yeah. I yeah. thought Hastings lost. I thought Hastings lost in the game here, boys. What would you, you make of that from Hastings? Big mistake. Like I, I, again, bro. Like they, they had their chances to like win the, win the game, win the game a bit earlier, but they just kept them like you know trying to do these amazing last players and the last tackle, which won't work. Just, yeah, again, absolutely it was, crazy. It was absolutely really frustrating crazy. to watch too because it felt like the Tigers were just going back to their old ways. And yeah, uh, trying yeah. to get that sort of trick shot in to get this spectacular final try. They sh- just should have just. I mean, it's yeah, yeah. Champa, I did. I did just post a link in the group chat. So jump on Champa if if you're still here. Um, far out, man. Uh, when Hastings kicked the ball, I thought I went down. I was like, oh fuck, he's lost in the game. Uh, I would have felt so sorry for him if the Tigers had a lot after that. Anyway, the um. Didn't come on nothing anyway because um, the Eels, I'm pretty sure, they, pretty sure they knocked the ball on. Tigers got the ball back. And then, boys, 77th minute, Jock Madden kicks the ball dead. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't know what they're all doing, eh? It looks weird. Yeah, ridiculous. I don't know what he was thinking. I, he, I can I see was. our good friend in the green room. I will get you oh. on in just a second, brother. Give me, give me 30 yeah. seconds. I'll get my good friend on. He's, I can see him in the green room. Just hold on a second, brother. You'll be on in a minute. Um, and then we get to the 78th minute, boys. Mitchell Moses. He was about 25 metres out in front. He missed the field goal. What was he thinking? That was so easy, wasn't it, though? Like, it was easy to get. No, that's not, that's not point. Well, I was in Broncos. has just arrived as well from nowhere. <laughs> boys, Moses misses the field goal from 25 out in front. You've got to be kicking them. Yeah, you can't just miss opportunities like that, for sure. Nathan, what would you make of that? Moses missing an easy field goal. <sighs> no, it's just one of them things, I guess. I'm unfortunate for him and that, but oh, yeah. costly. Real yeah. costly. Tigers get down the other end, boys. They're about 40 out. About fucking 10 seconds to go from 37 metres out, 38 metres out, whatever. Jackson Hastings gets the ball. Takes a strike at field goal, and he he looks at it. He's on the ground, and he's yeah. fucking kicked it. Hastings kicks the field goal, and the Tigers win 21-20 after the full-time siren. Boys, fucking what a finish. Bro, I couldn't believe it, eh? Like, I was just like, the Tigers are one. Like, I mean, I that, I mean there's, there's nothing better than an upset. Let me put it that way. Yeah, you love an upset. At $10, Nathan. Oh, Hastings yeah. field goal, how good was that? So good. And as like you said too, redemption story as well, man. Yeah. 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 All right, lads. 
full time. Tigers win 21 20. Here he is. I think he's at Combank Stadium still, or he's outside it somewhere. All that champa. There he is. Hey. How are you, brother? Oh, you boys got to speak up. I can't really hear you. The volume's not Mate. that loud. Mate, Jackson Hastings, holy shit. Oh, he was the best on field for sure. Had, hey, I'm telling you, Hastings goes Bro. into halfback, takes a lot of pressure of Brooks. And Brooks, yeah, he, he was able to you know, play his own game. And, and Hastings, he just controlled the game well, honestly. Bro, how was the atmosphere when he kicked the field goal? Oh, can you say that again? How was the atmosphere when he kicked the field goal, bro? How good was that? Uh, you could just hear a couple of people just cheer, but it was mostly dead silence. Like, you could just hear the everything. Just, the crowd just went quiet as soon as it happened. Para fans <laughs> just went. Nothing it was better than para fans. Field goal? Sorry? Did you recall the field goal at the end when he kicked it? Oh, I didn't, I didn't get the actual field goal. But I got our reactions. I got my reactions in the whole stadiums. <laughs> oh, bro. How good that? <laughs> it was, it was amazing. That's outstanding. Bro, how is there anything you, want, if, anything you want to say real quick? Anything you want to say to us? Oh, look. When you just play with belief, it really comes out in a team. Like, nothing changed throughout the week to make us win. You know, everyone was doubting us, but we just believed in us. We believed in our game. Yeah. Everyone played, like, everyone played their part. And we came off with a win against the Parasite. We looked good. So, you know, it was a good win for us. Well, well-deserved win, brother. And look, I know your connection at the moment is a bit all over the shop, but I just want to say, mate, go and have a cold beer. Go get on it. You deserve it, brother. Up the Tigers, mate. Congratulations. Cheers, boys. Thank you. Yeah. And that goes all out, champ. But that oh, was outstanding yeah. to get him on here just for a minute or so. Mate, all out, champ. It deserves to get completely blind drunk tonight. That's the unbel That was one of the best Tigers wins I'll have all year. Yeah, you know, I think I think him and any other Tigers fans should go for a drink, honestly. Yeah, celebrate it like it's the grand final. What was it, like 05 again? <laughs> well, they should celebrate it, bro. Look, look, I don't want to be negative about the Tigers, but with all due respect, will they have an, a, a better win than that this year? Like, that was incredible to t this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, depends. I, I, I don't think so. I hope they ha yeah. have an, another big win like that. But tonight, this afternoon was huge for the Tigers. Unbelievable scenes. And... Congratulations to all that champ as well. You know, he came on. He couldn't really hear anything, but he, he could sort of just hear us. And shout out yeah. to all that champ, man. Outstanding to have him come on, at, you know, under those circumstances as well. Up the Tigers. That's all I can say for him. Well done. 100%. All right, boys. I'll start with you first, Nathan. Give me your top three plays on ground from the Eels and Tigers game this afternoon. From three to all one. Right. Okay, so number three. I thought he had an all right game. Dylan Brown. Dylan Brown. Yeah. I thought he was really solid. Number two, and I can't believe I'm saying this, Luke Brooks. So, he, 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 he feels comfortable in that 5'8 position. He feels really yeah. solid. Number one, the man of the moment, Jackson fucking Hastings. Holy yeah. crap. No idea. No doubt, no doubt. What about he you, Pro and He is the man of the hour. Yeah, um, for me, number one, I'm going to go with uh, Gufferson, number one. Um, number two, I'll go with Nofaluma. I thought he was really good today. And uh, my man in the match, well, I mean, Nathan just said it there. Uh, Jackson Hastings, for sure, was just no fantastic. No doubt. Yeah, look, for me, uh, number, number three, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with... Yeah, look, I'm, I'm going to go Dane Laurie at number three. I thought Dane, Dane Laurie had a really good game at fullback. I thought Laurie was outstanding at fullback this afternoon. Number two, I'm going to go with Luke Brooks. I thought Brooks played really well. And number one, my man the match, Jackson Hastings. I thought he was outstanding at halfback. The field goal was outstanding. His whole game overall was brilliant as well. So, Jackson Hastings is my man the match. And the Tigers have beaten the Eels 21-20. What a game of footy, boys. Fantastic. Great way for Easter Monday to end. 
Yes, it's a great way to end the, the long weekend and the Easter weekend. It's good to see. And what a weekend. But, boys, that's going to wrap up the Easter Monday football review between the Eels and the Tigers. I want to thank you, Provenzo Vids and Nathan, for coming on the, the review, brother. No worries. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you, fellas. Everyone, like and subscribe. Hope you all have a good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my round seven tips for Anzac round. Anyway, guys, until then, like, subscribe.